Hi everyone, it's Rachel here and we are going to work on, I think we're going to work on these Easter journals. So we need to start thinking about um, embellishments and pockets for them. So um, I hope you all had a great weekend and, um, and we might just get cracking. So what do I need? I need to have a sip of tea, that's what I need to do. I, need to, I did some fussy cutting while I was in the car because the autostrata was straight and so it didn't make me car sick. And um, so I've got lots of stuff cut here and I thought that way I can be a bit more organised. I've got some of my sister's um, doilies as well. She's some wonderful doilies in her shop. So I'll link her shop below. Um and um, I am going to, even though they're not on tea dyed, I am going to use them in the journals because I think it'll brighten them up a little bit. And uh, we've got to start thinking about making some pockets. So I'm just going to go over here and grab some of my book pages. Now, some like that's going to be a good size, that one. Um, I don't know if I've got any more of those already pre prepared. Uh, I might just a second grab oh and I've got all of those um carol roll papers I call them carol rolls and anything else that might be of any use okay yep so the next phase in my process is um see that's going to be good is preparing um tuck some pockets and things like that so we'll put those aside I may or may not use them. I don't know if you put those over there. A bit of a mess here. That's no surprise, is it? So, yeah, I've only got one of those there. I need to prepare some more. So, that this one here is good. It's already stitched. That's good. I just need to do that. So, we'll prepare another one here. And I need to get some glue under there. Okay, so move these out of the way. We don't really need these right now because um, I'm going to prepare a few things and then we'll look at those. And we might not even do that in this video. So basically what we're making now are tux pockets, whatever we feel like we might need to embellish the journal. So there's one of those. Those are already stitched, those ones. And I would like another one. I don't know. So I was just going to put these. These are all those um, book pages that I had collaged on top of. Um, and I haven't. I keep forgetting about them. So I need to put them over there. So I've got them there ready to use. And I have a lot of those. These are good. I might do something with these. So let's put out the things that we think we might need. We need those. I've got two of those. Uh, or three of those. Well, do we need three? Well, we might. You never know. And here's some more of them. Good. Um, that's going to be too big, so I'll put that away. That's going to be too big. And where's my journals? Oh, there. Yes, that one might be all right. So we'll put that one there. And then, I've, oh, here's another one of those. Now, that's going to be too big, so I won't use that. I need them to be smaller. So I'm going to grab my ruler and just tear some off. And then like that will be almost perfect. It's a little bit... Um, deep and a little bit wide. I probably could probably be better if I um cut it, but I'm tearing it. There we go. So that's got to be stitched. Put the stitching pile here. There. Um, this can be another fold down. Might fold it that way. might just trim this one so just have a little corner pocket and I need to glue it and I might not 
use that one. Now these will be good as side tucks. This narrow one that will that can be good as a as a tag. So we're not doing tags at the moment. I'll put that over over here with these. Um, that one I think is that one's too big, so I'll put that away. This will be good as a side tuck. So just kind of eyeballing uh, where to tear it off. Very brittle paper, so good idea to collage over it and, and use it. It's better. So that's the word there. And then I'd probably need to update you on what's going on over here. Oh, here we go. We can do another little pocket with this. So basically, um, when we got back from Florence last night, we got home at about, I don't know, 6.30. Um, we got all, you know, Steffi got messages from colleagues and people that he knows uh, that there was all kinds of panic going on about the coronavirus because like, you've probably all seen on the news um, there's, you know, quite a few places have have been in like there's quite a few um cases of it here now over 200 and it seems to be growing fairly quickly and um and there are towns that have been in the northern in lombardy um or lombardia that have been um what do you, how do you say it they're like um they're quarantined really they're like they've got the the national guard there the you know military and they are you know you can't go in and you can't go out and um the people are being encouraged to stay inside because there's been a few cases of the virus and so they're trying to contain it and um and so anyway then we got all these images of the supermarkets here yesterday <laughs> the shelves are empty because um the italians have gone into a total spin and um and they um just trying to think what other type of pocket I might like to do. Um, they've gone into a total spin, and um, they've like all of, all of the face masks have sold out here in our area. There's not one to be found anywhere. Not that I wanted to go and buy one, but um, yep, there's no face masks masks available for those who want them, and um, and. And the super, they've just gone crazy and gone to the supermarket. And so anyway, I normally go to the supermarket on Sunday morning. And, uh, and sorry, not, what am I saying? Not Sunday morning, Monday morning. And so anyway, I normally drop Lulu off at school. And then I go to the supermarket. Because I don't normally do much shopping, food shopping on the weekend. Because... Um, we're quite often busy, so, you know, there's no point. It just goes bad. So, yeah, I go to the... Oh, no, first of all, I should tell you that Lulu um, is not at school because they decided to shut the schools. They shut the schools until next Monday. The schools are shut. And um, and and so um, she's at home because, I don't know, you tell me. Anyway, um, so she's at home and... And so I go off, I thought I'd better go to the supermarket. If that's what's happening on Sunday afternoon, panic has, has struck. I better um, go first thing, like I normally do. And maybe I'll buy a bit more just because, you know, like I'm just, I'm, I'm not worried about the virus. Like, you know, I probably should be worried about it, but I'm not because I just kind of am hopeful that it's a bit like, it's a, a very contagious flu that's the problem it makes makes it become an e epidemic sort of thing um but um you know you've got to be hopeful and so anyway so i'm not worried well not too worried about that going out and about with that sort of thing but what i was worried about was um i would go to the supermarket and there'd be no food left and we didn't have any food in the house and i've got to feed the people so i thought i better go early in the morning so i did and Normally, when I get there at eight o'clock in the morning, be just before opening at five, no, two, few minutes to eight, there's like three to five people there. This morning, there would have been fifty to sixty people standing outside of the supermarket with trolleys, and I was like, "Oh my word!" So um, it was like a free for all when we got in. 
I got everything that I wanted. I got out, I got out fairly quickly, but they were like animals in the supermarket. It was really incredible. And, um, and so, yeah, so that's how the status and, and I'm not sure, you know, like when Lily will be going back to school and what's going on and what are they going to do if they don't go to school and, Oh, and then and then I said to Lulu, don't think that just because you're not going to school, that that means that you get you kids can go roam about round about town because that's not the purpose of you staying home. The purpose is that you are not out and about with, you know, that you're not at risk of getting infected. That's why they've shut down the school to avoid an epidemic. And um, although there's no cases of it here that I know of. Does anybody know of any cases here? I don't think so. There's some in the northern, northwestern region of our, of our re northwestern part of our region, but not right here. Um, maybe I think the council is probably just trying to um, avoid an epidemic and protect themselves. So this is what's happening. And, and when you go outside, you can, you can kind of feel the craziness. It's a little bit crazy out there. So I think I'll stay in and craft. That's what I think. Anyway, I had to stop and tell you that because um, it's a bit hard to work and tell you that at the same time. So, um, so yeah. So and, and when we went to Florence, oh, I really like that. So when we went to Florence, Steffi, um, he actually, Lulu's had a bit of a flu last week. Uh, oh, you all know that. I told you that. And and Steffi wasn't feeling well. And he was thinking, oh, my goodness. Um, with I mean, you can see people are literally in such a spin about it. And he, he was like, um, they won't, you know, people will um, think I've got the the virus. And they, in fact, if when he sneezed or if he sniffled, people sort of looked at him. It was a bit funny. There are a few people walking around, even tourists, with masks. Um, but, you know, I didn't see any. I don't know. I guess I don't know. I don't know what to think about it. I really don't. I'm not a doctor. I really don't know what to think about it. I am the eternal optimist, so which has probably been my downfall. Or something will probably happen now because I'm too optimistic. Um, anyway, so let's see. I don't know what I want to do. I want to decorate these in an Easter-y sort of way. So let's see, or pretty florally sort of, you know, um, you know how it is, Easter-y, springy. That's the word I'm looking for. A little bit of spring. Oh, oh, that's already pretty, just in its own right. That doesn't need much to it, does it? Oh, that was in the little thing. I don't even. Rem I don't remember half the things that I do. I really don't. Sometimes I get asked um, questions about videos I've done. I've got no recollection of what I did in the video. Isn't that terrible? I have to go back and watch it. Just trying to see if I had. As you can see, I've sat down. I've got no idea. None whatsoever. Quite like that on there become quite robust wouldn't it I don't know anyway let's think about one thing at a time so I've got I do have a lot here um, printed up my thing is I didn't really um, print anything small is what my problem is I print this is just the regular printing size here I probably should have printed a little bit smaller I kind of be sad to tear up those pages I keep finding things I do like that. I'm going to tear that. I mean, these are these are collage. I probably got a few printouts too, so, so I probably shouldn't feel too sad tearing them up, should I? Now, first of all, I'm going to tear it just to see what I might like. I like that, but I don't want. I don't think I want to put it there. Oh, I could, um, I don't know, I don't, I don't want to lose all of that too. Oh, there's another one, that's a good thing. Just trying to see if there's any here. That might, oh, quite like that. But that's, that's just not even going to fit in the book. I don't know why I'm looking at that one. It's just not even going to fit. Needs to, needs to be trimmed down. That's a good size. See, it doesn't really matter if you cover up things that were underneath. I just want to see there. See, it's too big. Everything's too big. Well, that's going to be too big as well. So why am I looking at that one? Everything's too big. These are smaller, although they need to be trimmed down 
just a little bit. And I don't want to cover that up either. So I am going to tear the writing off. I'll use it somewhere else. That's better. I quite like that, although I am covering up a lot of the doily. Hmm. That's, I don't want the those ones. I want these ones. That's what I want. so many prints out I did so many so many printouts so many um you know test runs when we were printing them oops so cute I think I am going to put that there I am I'm just it doesn't matter about the doily underneath it really doesn't I don't know why I'm wasting our time lucking around And then I was really worrying last night. I was saying to Steffi, I'm not worried about um, sort of going out or anything like that. I am worried though. What if they, what if they, you know, decide we all have to be quarantined and they shut the post office? That would be a bit of a blow. <laughs> I need to go to the post office. I wouldn't be happy about that. I'd love that up there, but I don't want to cover the stuff. Oh, I know. Why don't I put it? That's it. That's going to go up there. As the little tab. That's great. The bells are going. I wonder why. Yeah, so there's two towns. Two towns that are quarantined. That they've... People, you're not allowed in and you're not allowed out. No one's going in and nobody's going out. That's going to be super cute. Um, and um, I'll put that over there, ready to sew. And let's move on to the next one. I mean, I am bumbling a bit, but... Not too bad. Oh, I took my other cutter in the other room. So I'm just going to go on the floor and cut this with my big cutter. Just a second. I am here. Ooh. Now, I made this to be a pocket. I need to try. I'm, oh, actually, I'm just going to bring it up here. You can tell I haven't been in my craft room for a few days, can't you? I'm sort of bumbling all over the place. I'll just trim that now. Let me just grab my book. I'll just grab this. I need to trim it still a bit more. So I'll trim there. Okay, and that's going to become yep, a tiny bit more. We don't want it to be too big. Okay, and then I'm going to grab this one. Oh, that's got really nice um, old book page. They both do. I don't want to make those pockets. Uh, what else can I make up? Pocket. This can be a pocket. I think I'll trim down the gondola because I don't um, want the gondola really in this Easter journal. And I am going to trim it down just a little bit. I think I'll trim it there um, just because I don't want the pocket to be too deep either. So I'm going to decorate those as pockets. Okay, so let's look at this one now. I've got all kinds of things here that I could. Oh, isn't that pretty? These are my sister's doilies. They're really lovely. It goes that way. I don't know if I seek out one of the flowers from her doilies. And I love those doggies. And these are some of her postcards, her Easter postcards. That's pretty. No. That's it. I'll put that there. I think I'll put it nearly all the way on. But I feel like it needs a bit of something like that piece can go there. This just needs a bit of something underneath it. Am I on screen and am I even recording? 
I'm breaking the walls. I'm not meant to have all this stuff up there. This is my work area. So that will go there. Or oh, Easter is fun. And I should have Carol's um, lovely journal in here to inspire me because it's so wonderful. So anyway, Lulu's baking. She's in the kitchen baking. She, I, I think she, um, there's rumours that they might even stay closed until the 20th of March school. I don't know. Well, I did think it was weird just one week because the incubation period is longer than that. So I just thought, well, that one week's not going to do anything. So maybe they've changed their minds. Let's do like that one. Now let me see if I have that I can bear to do um, if I have a little something here. I might because I can always print them out again. That's what we always have to remind ourselves. I'm going to cut the bunnies off there. Now that is inspired by Carol because she fussy cut a lot of the little cute things in the papers and um, and then used them in different parts and I thought that was a really great idea. It's unusually warm here. Uh, it's you know sort of springtime sort of weather. Very unusually warm. It's like 17 degrees outside. When that's actually, that's winter in Sydney, 17 degrees during the day. But initially that's um, that's kind of spring sort of weather, which is, yeah, it's a bit um, worrying because that means we're probably going to have, oh, I like that, you see. Thank you, Carol, for that great idea. Um, we're going to have an incredibly, probably have a terribly hot, humid, icky poo-poo summer. And I wanted to go home in July. Um, and my dad's meant to be coming over here before that. And oh, I don't know if, he'll, if it's going to happen. We'll have to wait and see, won't we? Oh, I love that. Um, oh, that could be a nice journaling card, but I just it was going to be a pocket. Um, so we'll have to wait and see because <clears throat> who knows what's going to happen with this virus. If um, an uh, Italian airplane was already um, stopped when it uh, flew to Mauritius and they um, the people were not allowed to get off the plane um, because Italy has become a no-no country and um, and so they weren't allowed off the plane and they've been they've been they had to agree to go into quarant a period of time in quarantine or um, or be turned around and go home that's a bit of a blow, isn't it? I mean, the quarantine time would be um, the quarantine time would be pretty much your holiday, wouldn't it? So yeah, I was thinking, gosh, if I want to go home, I'll probably be put in quarantine or something. Oh, I think that's going to be perfect on there. Maybe it'll all be have calmed down by. July. Let's hope. Let's keep our fingers crossed for everybody in the world that it has calmed down. You know, they worried us all with all the other viruses too that have been around and and um, it sort of sorted itself out. So that's what I'm hoping um, will happen in this case. Oops. Whoopsie, doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be straight and I need to get rid of that bit up there. I love it when you have um, collage papers, not just mine, I love Artie Mays' collage pages and um, who else has made many collage pages and I love it when you tear them up in little bits and pieces and get all different designs. Might have to put Lulu to work or she'll go stir crazy until March. I'm 
until it's sorry mid March. Oh, there we go. That's lovely. I like that. And um, now, just saw that little. Oh, I like that. I'm going to put that there. This would be a nice tag too. Anyway, we'll decide. I was thinking more like a belly band or, or um, yeah, side tuck. So I'll put that on the side, ready for stitching. Now we've got this. Let's see, what can we do with this? Well, I could turn it around that way and have that there. Now that could be nice, couldn't it? So, grab my ruler. You can tell I'm happy to be back in my room. I've started writing out all of your great ideas um, in my little book, but I have quite a lot to write out and I've got to write down all the new ideas. So um, that will take me a while. And I need to finish off my book from last year, which I had all, was to house all my projects. I need to do that. I need to do so many things. Just don't get things done. I haven't even finished. I knew it. I knew I wouldn't finish. Christmas. I've got to do that too. I didn't like that. It's wrong. That's it. And I'm wondering, would I like a little bit of something there? There's another piece of paper. I don't think I want that one again. Um, I've got Steffi's papers there. Oh, here's a lovely piece of Just sort of some sort of little clustery sort of thing I was thinking. That's nice. But then I would cover that up, but it doesn't matter. No, not that one. Oh, I had said I was going to tidy up my table, hadn't I? And I haven't done that. I did watch a movie with Lily this afternoon after lunch. I thought, oh, she asked me, and I always say no, I'm too busy, but um, I thought I'll watch a movie with her. No, that's not working. Mm -hmm. I don't really know what I'm doing. No, nope, I think I'll just leave that. Leave it plain. It'll come to me. I recommend that. I recommend that if it's not coming to you, just move on to the next thing and work it out at another time. So, a sip of coffee before, oh, tea, tea, I'm not drinking coffee, it's tea. Before it gets cold, oh, there's some butterflies. And I've got these cute little fabrics um, that I thought would be cute. Um, that I used to, I had, they cut out like that because I made little, the little Easter baskets that I've got the pattern in my shop. And um, so I pulled those out. And I thought I might use those as well. I'm just trying to think, what do I want to put? I've got, I don't know why I'm umming and ahhing. I've got lots of things here. For example, I love this. I just, I just love that. It might be because I love lace. I don't want to rip into my chickens, my chickadees, so I'll just put that there because I can use those for something else. That there, like that. Okay, so let's glue that down. Now 
and I'll put something, oh, I've got this piece of tea dyed, I'll just put this little piece of tea dyed paper down there. It's good having little bits of scraps here and there just lying around, so then you've got them there and you can just use them to patch things. Okay, now I don't think I've got, because these have all been cut, there's no, they were cute. If I'd known, I would never have cut them up, but I didn't know I was going to be doing this. So in the future, I mean, it was many years ago. I, just, I think I might like to fussy cut these ones. I was just looking at them, wondering if I might, I think I might prefer to tear them. I always can come back and, and um, fussy cut them afterwards if I don't like the tearing. But if I fussy cut, I can't go backwards and do um, tearing, if you know what I mean. them down there and something up there just need to get rid of that bit there okay it's very sticky something up there anything cute there to cut out I mean it's all cute isn't it but no it's Christmas we don't want Christmas Oh, let's not forget these guys too. They're cute. Okay. It's getting smaller and smaller, this piece of paper. Maybe I just won't have anything up there. It is going to be a tuck or a belly band. Again, I think I'll just leave it and decide at a later date. Oh, there's a little Tracy label in there. And that's going to be it. It is. There you go. I didn't even know that was in there. There we go. Okay, and next, I wanted to do one of those pockets. So I do need to stitch that. So just bear with me one second. Oh, I've got, no, I don't want that color. Okay, no stitching. I'll stitch it after. I'll just decorate it. Um, just pull my sleeves up, I'm getting hot. So I just wanted to see, I could probably fit that, no. I'll cover it with some paper first. Actually, I think I'll put, I'd like to put that there.
I know I'm covering that up, but that could be my pocket there. And I do think that would be really pretty there. Um, put some glue on here. Maybe I could trim that, that bit off there and have a different shape pocket. And I'll stitch around it and that will just stick on there. It's like a doily stuck on there. I like that. And I might even trim, when I've stitched it, I might even trim those little bits off as well. Cool. Because that's going to be stuck down on the page. So that's good if it fits. Okay, let's do one of these. Now these, you know, I struggle with these. I do struggle with those. I was looking for the rest of my other collage paper. Did I use it all? Oh, this was a reject page. I actually don't have it anymore um, because I didn't like how it turned out. And I'm thinking that would be, I'll catch those flowers, you see. I think I'm going to put that there. I don't normally do this, but I think I'll glue this. You know, you don't throw out the... Well, I didn't save it, but I, I didn't throw it out, the, the printout. I kept it um, because I thought I can still use bits and pieces of it, even though I don't like it as a whole. There we go, you see? That's covered. Now, I have to decide what to put on it. None of those, I don't think. Oh, that would be so cute. And this was left over from when I um, did my pages, and I think that's really cute. That's going to go there, but I think it needs something under it. Something under it. So, just looking through my fabric mess over there. It's, got, it's gotten itself into a mess again. Mm, I don't know where things are. This is my problem. I don't know where my papers are. Why don't I grab uh, my, I know where my Florentine papers are here. Maybe something there might be jovial. Go that way. 
So we'll probably have a second part with these because this is not going to be enough. And I'll put some of this. Just trying to get the hole I like holes and the rusty sort of feel about it. Hmm. No, I don't really like it. I might like this one more. No. No. I'm just going to put the bunny down. Just a tiny bit of that one. There. Like that. Or do I like it more? No. Back there. Okay. Right, well, I think I'll end the video there and we'll do some more in another video because there's two journals to fill, that's why. So this is going to be, I'll just go over again. This is going to be a pocket, so I'm going to stitch that on there and I'll probably trim off the rounded edges. We just did this side tuck, um, side pocket. This is going to be a belly band or a tuck. Very simple little triangle pocket. Um, another little belly band or side tuck pocket and journaling card that might be a no I think that's going to be a pocket that one's going to be a journaling card I like that one's going to go in sideways somewhere so there you have it so that's all I got done today um, but I will get some more done and um, and then we'll be able to start putting it all together so thank you for watching bye